Hello. Okay. Sorry about the squishy, squishy space. I'm still not quite moved in. But anyway, I'm loving this dip powder kit set. And okay, I'm not a pro. So you know, I'm just I'm just trying to transfer my way through this crazy crazy dip powder world. This is acrylic. This is an acrylic system, so keep that in mind. It does air dry. And it dries quickly. So you you'll just keep that in mind. <laughs> Please, I I don't want to make this too long. Yeah. Knock things down. But anyway, um this is the recycle bin, uh, the recycle pod, whatever you want to call it. You open this up, and instead of dipping your finger into the acrylic powder, instead of like just dipping your finger in, you pour it over your finger. Uh oh, I don't want my finger to go here. <sighs> See what happens when you're playing with stuff. <laughs> Clean. Anyway, um, <clears throat> okay. Where was I? Oh yes. <laughs> this is perfect for if you just wanna, if you don't wanna stick your fingers in your bottle. Just pour it on. It's great. It, this is really good. You just put your finger, hold your finger over the top, and then pour the powder on. And then just dump it back in. <clears throat> All right, so let's get to the good stuff. Okay, there's a brush saver that comes in the set, and this you will want to utilize and keep in camera. There is a top coat. And it is a glossy top coat. It's not it's not matted down, which is good. I, I'm not really a big fan of matte, but there are situations and and in nature oops that you would like to use matte. But I'm rambling again, sorry. There's a base coat and come on, focus. Hello. There we go. Good camera. Okay. There's a base coat and this is what you will use. For every single dip. Come on, back and back and focus. Back and focus. Ooh. Anyway, you've seen it. You want to use this with every single dip. The first thing you put down is the base coat. After the base coat, you dip your finger. I'll show you in a minute. I don't want this video being too long. And next is the activator. The activator you use after every single dip, but before you use the activator, you'll want to use your fluffy, fluffy, fluffy brush. You will want to brush the excess uh, powder off of the nail before you use your activator. If you don't, there's going to be loose powder that's not stuck to your nail that'll get into the bristles of your activator, or your, yeah, your bristles to the activator. You don't want that. After it dry, after everything dries, which I would give it a good three or four minutes. It probably doesn't need that long, but and then after that, another base coat, dip again, activator, and then let it sit for a few minutes. But anyway, there is a really nice. 180 grit Roslyn nail file. And it's a pretty good size. Look at that. It's a pretty good size. Nice angle. So you can use it for pushing back your cuticles and everything. It's, this is a nice, nice file. Okay, now on to the powders. Okay, I didn't. I didn't um, go back and clean up. Wait, there we go. Woo. So you can see the mistakes that I made because I am not a professional. I am just looking for the camera. Come on. <laughs> uh, you're not focusing. Okay. Well, 
there's that, and that is a really pretty shimmery pale pink, and this is the color. Glitters. Look, actually, it's, it's shimmer. It looks like a tiny, tiny shimmer flakes, and it is D1062. Come on. Focus. Focus. It is really pretty. Alright, moving on. Okay, I didn't top coat this so you can see the mistakes if the camera will allow it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, camera. There we go. See, that is what happens when you don't keep your brush um, damp and your bottle sealed between dips. If you get a clumpy brush and you try to swipe the base coat on it'll it'll do that it'll streak up your nail you'll get bumps and lumps and I didn't top coat this so it wouldn't be all covered up and hidden but that is so pretty this is a shimmery pale lavender light lavender I keep floating out of camera I'm sorry and that is D1076. My camera will, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. <laughs> I really need to get my stuff set up. Oh. Alright. Next we have a really pretty cream lavender and it's not working it's a really pretty cream lavender and it is D1100 These are my favorite. Okay. <sighs> All right. This is like a lavender with gold glitters. Ooh, that's mostly. It's just so much gold glitter in there. It's just taken up. It is lavender. <laughs> you can see where I did put in the activator. Yeah. I didn't use enough activator. For the first coat anyway. Oh, that's so pretty. Come on. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. And that is... D2019. And nah, I wouldn't say it has 2019 vibes, but look at that gorgeous. Look at all that sparkle. That's so pretty. Alright. And next... We have metallic gold, and it actually comes off as a metallic. This is the first acrylic powder that I have seen that does this. I want more of these. These are amazing. Okay, this is D3024, and it is a metallic gold with cold glitters. Oh man. Look at that shine. Okay, speed it up, speed it up. Right? That's it. Come on, Chris, speed it up. And here is the finished product. Isn't that gorgeous? That is that is serious this is straight up metallic and that's two coats. That's not even three, which I would recommend three. But that's only two. 
three would make it more opaque. And this is the last but not least. This is D2015. And it is a gorgeous pale. Come on. Oh, did I close it? No, you know such thing as closing it too tight. It is a gorgeous pale pink with iridescent shimmers. Oh, iridescent glitters, flakies, whatever you want to call it. Those are gorgeous. And I was going to show you with this one just what to do. Okay. Hopefully, my brush is clean on the activator. Okay, good. It's not clumpy and gross. Okay, you want to put on a nice, even, thin layer of base coat. Hope I got that even and thin, or at least even. And this does air dry, so you don't want to be too slow, like me. <laughs> Just dip it. You know, just then hold it for any specific amount of time. Just give it a couple of good little dips. Don't force it in. Don't push on it. You don't want to. Don't want to cause any. Where the oh okay. And I'm. See, does that help any? No, no, it doesn't. It just makes everything dark. Okay, well. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Give it a good brush. You actually don't want to have any powder on here when you put your activator on. And the activator is what causes the polymerization. This is this. What does it? You can liken it to monomer if you want. I'm pretty sure the chemical composite chemical composition is fairly similar. I'll have to look into it. Um, but and that's it. And you have to let this dry for a couple of minutes. I have a powder underneath, sorry. Let this dry for a couple of minutes. Oh, oh come on camera. You you had it there. There we go. Let this dry for a couple of minutes. Look how gorgeous that is. That is so pretty. Oh, my phone's about to die. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay, it's gorgeous. You see it? This Another base coat. Another dip. Another activate. And then top coat it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>